Hey, what's up guys? I'm Alex from Zaxworks. And in this short tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use our free Flare letter pack. All right, so in order to use it, all you have to do is use the installer and it will put all of the correct files in the correct places for you. Uh, make sure you restart the program and then you will see these cool 26 different rigs over here in the lighting rig swatches. Cool. All right, so what these are, these are letters that are made out of flares. So there are actually lights that are positioned right where the letter needs to be and then flares positioned on top of those lights. So we'll take our first letter right here, our Z, drag it into our 3D preview window, let go, and we see we instantly have a Z letter made out of blue variation flares. Cool. So now that we have our letter, let's add another letter, right? So we'll come up here to our A, drag our A onto the scene, click add, don't click replace, click add, and we see our A is positioned right on top of our Z. That's because all of the letters are at the origin right now. Um, they're default to be at the origin, so it's really easy to move your letters around. Uh, all we have to do to fix, to, to move the A over, is select our light pose. Make sure you're selecting the light pose, not the flare pose. In order to move the flares, you have to move the lights. <laughs> A little funny, but it's, it's how it works. And then select your X pipe position, move over to the right, to move it and there you go. Now we have our Z and then we have our A and we could put an X, W, blah, blah, blah to make our word. Uh, but for right now, since this is a, a short tutorial, I'm just going to stay with the Z and the A and I'm going to show you really quickly how to animate these two. So in order to animate, you have to create a second pose. You do that just by double clicking on the timeline right here. It's just like a keyframe, you know, but just double click on the timeline. And then we'll do the same thing for the Z. So now we have two different poses for each letter. Uh, we have the first pose and the second pose, uh, but the second pose is sort of our stopping position. It's where we want it to end up. So we'll first select our first pose and we will move the first pose. We'll do that by using our pipe positioning. Our pipe positioning will move the entire letter. Uh, so we'll move positive Z direction quite a bit just so we can get it out of the camera view. And we'll do the same thing for the Z. And now that that's done, if we scrub our timeline, we can see that the letters now move into their proper spots. Perfect. However, the letters are moving as a whole right now. We don't want that. We want a cool swarming motion, right? Why not? So let's select our transition in order to do this. So we'll select our transition, and we can either go in and you know mess around with some of these things, or we can go to our transition presets and select letter transition. This should be here if you used your installer correctly. So we'll select this. And all that did was it put in uh, data entries into our different fields, like put, put a little cascade, changed our changed it to random uh, cascading, gave me some ease, and so on and so forth throughout these different fields. But now, when we drag, uh, scrub our timeline, we see that these the letters are following these cool motion paths. So I'll deselect so we can see the actual flares moving but it's a really cool looking look now and they all fall into place. Perfect. So we'll do the same thing for our A. Select the transition, come to transition presets and select letter transition, deselect, and now we see that we have our flares swarming in the spot and then they finally ease into the proper position and boom. Awesome. So that's it for the short tutorial. Just a quick overview on how to get up and going really quickly. Can't wait to see what you guys do with this. Please send in anything you do if you want, and we would love to take a look. So see you guys next time.